and demonstrate accounts payable automated filing. This is going to be very, very cool for you people that uh, normally keep a file drawer full of, uh, like a tickler file of all your accounts payable invoices that have to be paid. Pay them once a month or once a week. You grab the vendor invoices and then you staple them to your stub and you put them away. Well, now what you'll be able to do is scan them all together with the stub or the check in front like this here. Let me give you an example. I've scanned some July invoices and some August invoices from the same vendor here. So let me open this up. This is your check stub. We're Pennant Company, let's say. And we've got three invoices from the same vendor. Okay, and you can see it's some computer parts right here that we bought. It's been signed off on here. And there's another invoice for the same company, some more computer parts signed off on, okay, and so forth, okay, another vendor invoice. Now, you can see here's all your vendor invoices, the dates, the voucher number from your accounting system that printed out on the stub, and this is all from July. Do the same thing here. We've got August invoices for more computer parts for the same vendor, okay? So you can see, normally you'd staple all that together with all vendor invoices right behind it, stick it in your file cabinet. Now what we're going to do is scan it, and our vFiler software is going to OCR this check number, look it up in your accounting system, knows it belongs to this computer company, and files it accordingly down here in your accounts payable folder or up into your document management system we call High Point, but also... I've added another feature here to this workflow called Publish to Database, and you'll be able to see our Retrieve program, which is free. It's a search and retrieve tool, unlimited users that comes with vFiler. So, all right, let's go ahead and run this. Now, what's going to happen? It's going to grab all these documents in this folder, uh, OCR the check number. The indexer is going to look up that check number in your accounting system. We'll perform a full page OCR. So if we want to search for vendor invoices, we can convert to searchable PDF and publish to a database that exists out on your network. This could be Access, Microsoft SQL, or even MySQL, which is free, will supply it to you. You can download that off the Internet. So let me open up this Payables folder here, and you'll be able to watch these documents go right in there as we file automatically here. Okay, and these are going to start to disappear as vFiler captures them and indexes them. You can see it's automatically split it. Three different transactions. Here's your first vendor folder. Okay, 2011. There's that vendor invoice. And more of them are going to start arriving. Okay, let's drill back down in there. Here they come. Okay, you can see that we've got six different documents that were published all in different folders here. Okay, so now if you wanted to search for these different documents, um, what do you do? I should say there's only two documents, but there's six different transactions. Why is that? Because there were three vendor invoices on each different check. Okay, so two documents, but on each uh, document were three transactions. So it actually published to the database different transactions okay so we'll explain that next okay now as I mentioned we wanted to just take a look at the results of our filing here and let's go down to payables here's the vendor here's the year and here happens to be the two um, checks that we had scanned and we embedded in the file name again this is a feature of vFiler when we publish to database or file uh, folder we can actually create the file names. We've got the check number here, the date, and the amount. And again that's a variable. So let me open that up in PDF format now. Here's the vendor invoice, here's your voucher number, and here are all of the vendor invoices attached. So now if you wanted to search for these in the real world, I mean are you going to want to drill and navigate through folders? That's not really the most efficient way to find documents. Well, that's why we came up with Retrieve. So watch the video on Accounts Payable Retrieve, and you can see a very slick utility um, that's free.
that comes with vFiler that enables you to search by index field. You can search for check number, vendor invoice, vendor name, anything you want. Uh, all, the, all the index fields are user definable. So this is accounts payable filing. Make sure you check out at the end of the video all the resources for more training, workflow design, etc. Thank you.